Hi guys, this is Vineet and in today's video we will discuss about how you can delete a table in SQL Server. Before we proceed ahead, uh, I would request you guys to please subscribe to my channel. Now why to subscribe? Because uh, you need to excel in your career and achieve a job with a high salary package. So in order to do that, you need to learn SQL and I can help you in uh, learning uh, SQL Server by providing the quality SQL stuff. So uh, if you talk about uh, subscriber on my channel right now I have uh, 356 subscriber. I want this count to be somewhere near 500 subscribers so please subscribe and provide us your help and support. Also uh, in order to subscribe you need to click on the subscribe button that is coming below this video. Click on that subscribe button, it will give you a bell icon. Click on that bell icon, select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my upcoming videos. And let me share some of the motivational tips to gain mastery in SQL Server. Try to spend at least 3 to 4 hours per day watching SQL Server videos on my channel in case you are doing a 9 hour shift in your job. Otherwise, you have whole day to spend uh, watching my videos. So utilize your time effectively. Also, we get most of the times on uh, most of the time on Saturdays and Sundays when we do not have a job shift to cover. And uh, utilize these Saturdays and Sundays fully to cover all the videos in my SQL Server playlist. And uh, links for this playlist are given in the description area. And uh, I would suggest uh, you don't waste your time, especially on these particular two days. And I would suggest taking a break for 15 minutes after watching videos uh, every hour. And also uh, suggest you to take care of your health so you can focus all your energy and efforts on learning the SQL Server stuff. And uh, please show dedication towards advancing your career by investing more of your time in learning and getting a job with a high salary package. Now there are some parts to remember while watching my videos. Please watch the videos till the end to gain better clarity of the concept and if possible for you, please watch the video twice. Perform any exercises mentioned in the video in your test and lab environments only. Do not touch any production environments or production databases. And uh, we would like to know your thoughts regarding our video, so please uh, share your comments with us. In case you need the PDF copy of the notes that are discussed during the video, so we have two methods, one is with, with payment and one is without payment. So let me discuss the first method which is by paying a nominal fee. So what you need to do, you need to send me an email and with the title of the video for which you need PDF notes. Upon receiving your email, I will send you the link to make payment and upon making payment, you can download the copy of the PDF notes. Second method is free of cost uh, in which you have to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Once you click on the subscribe button, it will become subscribed button. So at that point, you need to take a screenshot showing the subscribe button, the logo of my channel or my channel name, along with the video title. Send that screenshot to me as a proof of subscription uh, to my email address vrmavna at gmail.com. So upon receiving your screenshot, I will check the video title and your subscribed status. Upon confirming that, I will send you the PDF notes directly on your email address. Now, I have curated some playlists for you guys to watch and uh, links are available in the video description area for all these playlists. So first one is the SQL Server Database Design Playlist. It consists of 46 videos at present. The second playlist is SQL Server Tables Playlist. It contains 3 videos at present. And third one is Business Continuity Playlist, which consists of 49 videos. Uh, fourth one is SQL Server Indexing Playlist, which consists of 10 videos at present. And the next one is SQL Server Performance Tuning Playlist, which consists of 15 videos at present. And we have SQL Server Integration Services Playlist. So that contains 6 videos as present. Apart from this playlist, uh, links for all these playlists are included in the video description area, so please check them out. Apart from that, I have a channel page link, which is youtube.com slash at the SQL Talks by video. Please do visit my channel page. Uh, there also you will get the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Apart from that, you will uh, find the most latest videos and videos which are more trending or videos which are getting most views. You can watch them out. 
and also you can find the links to all these playlists uh, in the on the channel page itself as well so please check them out now let's come back to today's topic which is how to delete a table in sql server so let's quickly uh, go to notes uh, give me a second guys let me check so these are the notes let me go through it so today we are covering the topic how to delete a table in sql server let me select my pen pointer so today's topic is how to delete a table in sql server so you can delete or drop which is another name for delete deleting a table in sql server so you can delete a table from your database in sql server by using sql server management console um, or you can use sql server management studio or transact sql so there are two methods for uh, deleting or dropping a table from sql server um, you can use either the sql server management studio or you can use the transact sql statements to uh, delete the table or drop the table so now there is a word of caution so think carefully before you delete any of the tables yeah. if any of the existing queries views or user defined functions or any of the stored procedures or programs refer to that particular table which you are about to drop the deletion will make these objects invalid so if we have any queries views uh, udts or uh, udfs or stored procedures that are referring to a particular table and if we drop that table so dropping that table make make will make these objects invalid because the table they are referencing do not exist anymore now let's talk about some of the restrictions uh, while working with the tables while dropping a table so there are certain restrictions we cannot drop a table that is referenced by a foreign key so we cannot delete a table which is referenced by a foreign key or if uh, any table has a reference to this particular table it cannot be deleted so if it is referenced by a foreign key constant this table cannot be deleted we will talk about foreign keys constant shortly in our upcoming video so please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed or if you are new to this channel please subscribe there is a subscribe button below this video you may do that so quickly so I hope you have subscribed now so so we cannot drop a table that is uh, referenced by a foreign key constraint the referencing foreign key constraint or the referencing table must first be dropped so any of the table that is uh, referencing the other table which is about to be dropped must first be dropped before we can drop this table now when a second part is when a table is dropped rules or defaults on the table lose their binding so any of the rules defined on the table or any of the defaults defined on the table columns will become invalid and those bindings are lost when we drop the table and uh, any constraints created on any of the columns on the table or any triggers associated with the table are also automatically dropped and if we recreate a table we must rebind the appropriate rules and defaults so we need to create the rules and defaults once again once we recreate the table and we need to recreate any triggers and uh, add all the required uh, constraints because uh, this will get automatically deleted if we drop any drop the table on which uh, they are defined so we need to create all of these from scratch if we recreate the same table now if you drop a table that contains a var binary max column with a file stream attribute we'll talk about them later what is a var binary max column and what is a file stream attribute but yeah if your table does consist of a var binary max column uh, with the file stream attribute any data stored in the file system will not be removed so if we contain uh, if we are dropping a table and if it contains this column with the file stream attribute so any of the data stored on the disk will not get automatically deleted uh, during the drop of table now drop table statement or end create table statement should not be executed on the executed in a same batch so 
these both both of these statements cannot be executed in the same batch otherwise we will receive an unexpected error or an unexpected error may occur and any view or stored procedure that references the drop table must be explicitly deleted so we have any view uh, we have created any view that is referencing a particular table or we have created any stored procedure that is referencing a particular table and if that table is deleted we need to delete and the any of the associated views and stored procedure as they have become invalid now after the deletion of a table they have become invalid so we need to delete them explicitly uh, or otherwise they need to be modified to remove the reference to that particular table uh, which is deleted so there are two options either we can delete the view or either we can delete the stored procedure the other option is to modify the stored procedure view to remove any references to the drop table or delete table now let me take you through a demo on how you can delete a table from a database using ssms and another demo i will show you how to delete a table using the transact sequence statement so let me trigger a sequence over here so first we will use the sql server management studio to delete a table from the database so once it is launched it is about launch so once it launches we will connect to the default instance of the sql server and we are running uh, two instances on this box so this open should open soon Alright, it is open and let me connect to the default instance of the SQL Server. So what we need to do here is, if we want to delete any table, let's take a database, maybe a sample DB. Here we have some tables uh, created inside the sample DB. So for example, let's say we have a test table and if we want to drop that table. So what we need to do is, if we want to do it in a GUI mode, we need to right click on the table and there is a delete option over here once you click on the delete button it will ask you for the confirmation at that point you can click on the yes button to remove it and basically deleting a table automatically removes any relationships to it so let me cancel this out so this is the way you can delete if you click on ok it will uh, delete this particular table so let me delete that so that is the GUI way you can delete a table so that table is dropped now another way is you can use the transact sequence statement to delete a particular table so let me show you how to do that so in case we want to remove this purchase or the delete table let me try to show you how you can delete so you need to trigger a new query and the statement you need to use is drop table statement so you can write that along with me so drop table statement and we need to specify the table name along with the schema name so what i need to drop i need to drop the purchase order detail table so I, i'm writing this statement drop table purchase order detail you can put a semicolon at the end if you want and execute it it will drop the table or delete the table from the system right now it's showing up over here if you refresh the table section this will get removed from the list as well so i've refreshed now this table is gone that is sort of table is now deleted from the system or dropped from the system so guys i hope you like this video in this video we have shown you how you can delete a table from the sql server management studio you know GUI mode and how you can use the drop table statement uh, in transact sql to delete a particular table apart from that we have talked about uh, some of the restrictions uh, that are associated with table deletion and be careful while uh, deleting any tables do not uh, delete any useful tables and uh, i would not suggest uh, doing any of the practicals in the production environment uh, always use your test or lab environments only with the test databases you can perform these experiments to gain a better clarity and understanding so guys i hope you like this video and I thank you so much for your time on this video and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video.
uh, once you click on the subscribe button you will get a bell icon click on that bell icon select all notifications to get notifications regarding all my future videos uh, thank you so much for your time and also please share this video with your friends and ask them to join our channel in case you feel uh, my channel has videos uh, that are useful for them please ask them to join uh, my channel and uh, share uh, the videos mentioned here on the youtube uh, with your friends in case you feel uh, the videos are useful for them and do post us your comments guys uh, we would love to read them so thank you once again and you have a wonderful day